Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. I have a small confession to make. Until very recently, I had never played the Pokemon trading card game. When Pokemon first came out, I was already a little bit too old and a little bit too jaded. I was basically outside of their target demographic. However, recently my daughter has become very interested in Pokemon and she really wanted to give the trading card game a try. So I scoured the stores looking for some way that we could get involved in the game together. And it's a little bit of a minefield really. There are lots of theme decks, there's different series, and there didn't seem to be a lot in the way of something that could get two people started at the same time. And then I happened to find this learn to play together let's play pokemon and this is pretty much exactly what i was looking for it's a two-player starter set so it has everything the two players need and it is aimed at new players and it seems to be skewed towards younger players they have kept it as simple as possible and they have obviously included pikachu and another one of the really cute characters eevee so, um, yeah, I've been playing this with my daughter for the last few days, and um, I'm a little bit surprised, actually. I'm surprised by two things. First of all, I'm surprised that I actually quite enjoy the game. Um, I really wasn't expecting to enjoy it, but I've had a lot of fun. A, a lot of that's going to be down to the fact that I'm playing games with my daughter, and... I could play tic-tac-toe with my daughter and have a nice time, but I've actually really enjoyed the game and the card play. Secondly, I'm actually surprised that this seems to be a pretty solid starter set. It seems to um, sidestep a lot of the problems that starter sets have and actually provides a pretty complete experience for two people right out of the box. So we're going to dive into the box, we're going to take a quick look at everything you get, and then I'm going to share some of my overall thoughts as someone who has never played Pokemon before. As this is a two-player starter set, you get two of everything, and what they've done is they have themed everything to the two characters in the set. So you get two rules books, one has a Pikachu cover, one has an Eevee cover. And this rule book is actually pretty well done. Rather than going into the complete depth of the game, it gives you everything to get started in a very simplified manner with a huge diagram on each page. So it shows you how to set up and then it shows you um, what to do before the game begins and you can see how it's setting up and massive diagrams close-ups of the cards really stepping through everything that you can do on your turn and keeping it as brief as possible relying very heavily on the diagrams to talk through the different things like attaching energy to your characters and everything else that you're going to do in the game. It's a very well done rules book. There are certain points where I thought I'm not quite sure I understand that, but as it turned out, that was actually me and my gamer brain trying to overcomplicate things rather than just taking things at face value in the book. If you just read something and take it at face value, you're not gonna go wrong. You get two small punch boards of counters for tracking health. These are incredibly thin, incredibly small, and quite rubbish. They are good to get you going, but we have already replaced ours with glass beads. Several characters in the game have special abilities that require you to flip a coin. So you actually get two quite nice plastic tokens. They have um, Pikachu and Eevee on one side, and they have a Pokeball embossed on the reverse, and you can flip these in order to work out whether your powers trigger. You also get two of these paper play mats, which aren't actually necessary to play, but are very useful for um, defining the areas of the game as you're playing. And also, um, they've done a really nice job of making these learning aids as well. They have marked out where each card goes. They have put a, um, a reminder of what you can do on your turn. And also, you can see where you place your active Pokemon. They've done little arrows pointing to areas of the card, so that when you've got a card in position, you have a little reminder on the page of what each of the different numbers and values mean while you're playing. 
the sort of thing that you're not going to need after you've played a few games but nice to have helps you to get involved in the game quickly helps you to remember what you're going to be doing on your turn especially for younger gamers and again they've done the nice thing of theming them to the two characters in the set so you have one that has the pikachu image and the other one has an eevee image absolutely not necessary doesn't change the way that the playmats work but it's nice to have that uh, thematic connection to your deck and speaking of decks obviously the biggest draw of the starter set is the fact you get two full 60 card decks in their own tuck boxes i'm not going to go through what each card in each of the decks does but what i am going to do because i think it might be useful for some people is i'm going to very quickly flick through each deck so you can see what is included First of all, we have our Pikachu deck, which is a lightning themed deck, as you might expect. And these tuck boxes, um, they're obviously not high quality deck boxes, but they're good to start with. And they actually have quite a bit of space in there. I'm not sure whether you would get 60 cards in there sleeved. I don't use deck sleeves anyway, but it's nice to have little deck boxes to organize what you're doing anyway. In the Pikachu deck, you get two Raikou cards, who I have found is a particularly good card and my man of the match on numerous occasions, uh, particularly in the late stages of the game, thanks to Booming Thunder being able to uh, take energy from your discard pile to attach to benched Pokemon. Obviously, we get Pikachu and you actually get two different versions of Pikachu, which have different attacks. And uh, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, but one of the designs is sparkly you have an alolan raichu uh, an evolution of pikachu and i do apologize in advance remember i am a muggle when it comes to pokemon and i'm going to horribly mash the pronunciation of all of these names you get three voltorbs and two electrode evolutions for them pidgey two of those and one pidgeotto evolution a card that i would actually never attack with but keep sitting around for the air mail ability you get three electabuzz and two electivir electivire elective elect something two of those two blitzel one zeb striker and that's it for pokemon you then get the pokemon catcher item one potion for healing 30 damage to one of your pokemon incredibly useful Two Switch, two Great Balls, four of How, one Professor Kukui, one Cynthia, two Pokemon Fan Club. And then the rest of the deck is made up with electric energy cards. For the Eevee deck, you obviously get Eevee. You actually get four Eevee cards in two different designs, including some sparkly ones. And because this is a fire deck, it is fire themed, the evolution for Eevee they've gone with is Flareon. And you get two of those. You get three Charmander, two Charmeleon evolutions, and two Charizards. Three Pansia, two Simicea. You get two of the ridiculous Lickitung two Kangaskhan and two Moltres. For trainer cards you get exactly the same distribution that you get in the Pikachu deck so it's exactly the same loadout of cards. Uh, pretty useful um, cards for drawing extra cards into your hand or swapping out Pokemon, healing Pokemon. Just standard utility cards that are always going to be useful in your deck in this sort of thing and then they round out the deck with a whole bunch of fire energy cards as you would expect so that's everything you get in the set and that seems pretty reasonable for the price i paid i paid i think around 16 pounds which 
for two full decks alone seemed pretty good, but to have these step-by-step -step rule books, the little tokens, um, some counters, even though they are cheap, nasty counters that um, we have replaced, and the paper play mats, which are pretty low quality, but useful learning tools. Um, as, a, as a complete package, it seemed reasonable to me. And I do like that it feels like a very complete package. There are a lot of starter sets that I have played in the past for collectible games, tradable games, where the starter set really just gives you a very basic introduction to the system, to the mechanisms, and it's missing a lot of what makes the game good. It's enough to sort of get started. It is a starter set after all, uh, but they want you to buy more. They want you to start shoveling money into the pit. This set didn't feel like that to me. It feels like a fun game straight away. You open the box, you've got two decks that do feel balanced. It does feel like a fair fight, and it does feel like you've got a good mix of stuff. There's, um, even for someone like me, I knew who Eevee was, I knew who Pikachu was, obviously, and there are a few other characters that I, I recognize, like Pidgey. So there's some familiar faces in there, as well as stuff that is effective, stuff that immediately allowed you to start making combos. Uh, as soon as I, I flicked through the Pikachu deck, I could see how I could create some simple combos from the cards I had available. Um, it quickly became apparent how I could use those cards effectively to formulate basic strategies. And of course, being a starter set, you're not going to be able to make all those elaborate traps and things that you might be able to do with a tournament ready deck. But for an out of the box deck, there was some stuff to think about. There were some things to do. It was interesting right from the start, which was more than I was expecting, if I'm totally honest. Put it this way. This is a starter set that makes me feel like I want to buy more because it's fun, rather than other starter sets that I've played in the past where you feel like you need to buy more to make it fun. Of course, they have kept it simple. They do seem to have skewed it towards young players, beginner players. So there's a lot of stuff that isn't included in the game. There's no persistent effects such as confusion. Uh, weakness doesn't seem to play a, a part in this. It doesn't look like there are any characters on opposing decks that are weak to attacks from other Pokemon from the other deck. And both decks are themed around a single energy type, electric and fire. So they have minimized a lot of the things that you can layer into the game as you get more confident, as you learn more about how it all works. But that makes sense. It's a starter set. I would say at the moment, the only thing that I have noticed is that games seem to run a little bit long for what they are. And I think that's possibly down again to the fact that it's a starter set and um, it has slightly oversimplified combinations and matchups. So it doesn't have any of those super optimized tournament ready killer combos that are going to do massive damage and win you the game very quickly. It feels like it's a little bit more uh, methodical and a little bit more drawn out than that. But I do think that is a limitation of keeping it as simple as possible, which I do think was the right choice to make in this case. I actually purchased this starter set for my daughter because she had started getting very interested in Pokemon and wanted to play the game and she has absolutely loved it. She was so excited when I gave this to her. She wanted to play immediately and we finish a game and her first question is, can we play a game? And it's just been a real joy to play with her. Just a lot more fun than I was ever expecting it to be. If you're new to Pokemon, if you're looking for a way to get started, if you're looking for a way to introduce a young player, I do think the Let's Play Pokemon starter set is a really good option. Where you go from there, I guess, is another matter. There's so many themed decks, so many different sets and ranges. It is a lot to take in and a lot to think about, but as a first step, a tentative first step that is actually a fun game in its own right, this one gets a thumbs up. But that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you have really liked the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.